Hello everyone, welcome to a new vlog. It is Tuesday, 26th of October and I forgot to vlog yesterday. I just um, like vlogged me planning for the week and I forgot to vlog later. I did have a nail paint package that I received yesterday. There are some really good nail paints I got from Faces Canada and they were so affordable as well. Um, but I yeah I've just been kind of busy even when I have not been working um, I have just been busy like cleaning a little bit here and there and also I filmed yesterday I filmed a video talking about my spooky books I also finished the readathon vlog and I'm going to be editing all of those videos today and hopefully they'll be going up this week sometime um, so that's the plan for today. It's just going to be editing and maybe a little bit of reading. Just this little break has been really nice to just slow down and take it easy and just focus on myself for a bit before I go out there again. And I don't think like it's been that much of a change because I had been working from home for a while. I did go to work for like a few days this month physically, but yeah, I just... Um, I'm kind of feeling quite free because even though I was working from home I was always like busy because of all the things I had to do and right now it's been just very slow and relaxing and I can take things at my own pace and it feels really good at least for this break that I have um, and I started knitting another beanie for myself with this beautiful wool. This wool is just so pretty. It's like a maroon, like light and dark colors in there. And I'm planning to knit a beanie for myself. I don't know how long this will take me, but I have at least a month, I guess, because of the Diwali break and everything. Um, and I hopefully can knit that before winter comes around. And I have quite a few other knitting and crochet projects that I want to do later on. So yeah, that's what I've been doing for a while. I'm gonna go edit videos after this. And I just wanted to also give you my reading update, which I completely forgot about. But today I started this new audiobook, which I'll put the title thumbnail here which is sweet talk by Kara bestone and this is again another audible original audiobook and it's so good so far so this girl um her name is jesse she has this crush on um this guy elliot and now this is a second book in a series and the first book is not like it's like a completely different story but you see the same characters in this book so i would recommend reading the first book which was um call me maybe so this book is a follow-up to that. It is a different story entirely, but we have this character Elliot from the first book. And Elliot is also dyslexic, which I really do like the representation here. And Elliot basically um, can't sleep at night and he ends up texting this girl and he thinks that it's somebody else and he texts her and then like the girl realizes that he has drunk text her that's what she thinks so she's like wow why did he text me at 2am in the night and they start talking back and forth and basically he doesn't know who she is exactly because he hasn't saved her number correctly in his phone and stuff and it's just like a cute little romance i am loving the voice acting just like the first book i would highly recommend both these books they're just so so good and i cannot wait to read more by Kara Bastone. i'm just loving this um, I don't want to give any more spoilers, so I'll just leave the story at that. And I'm also still reading my thriller. Let me just get it. So I have still been reading this book, which is Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. And currently, I'm on page 209. Yeah, I'm on page 209, and there are 300 more pages to finish. So my goal this week is to finish Pretty Girls and finish the audiobook I'm listening to. I don't have anything else I want to add in here. Um, and then on the Halloween weekend, I hopefully plan to read The Haunting of Hill House and um, maybe another like cute graphic novel. Yeah, Mooncakes. I want to read that one. So that's the plan, but let's see how it goes. But I'm going to go and get to doing things now. I've been talking for forever and <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go.
Hello everyone, good afternoon. It is 2 p.m. on Wednesday, the 27th of October, and I spent the yesterday, the rest of yesterday, editing my video from last week, and then I went out and met Gav. We had some iced coffee at McDonald's and just had a chill time. I got home later and spend the night playing on my switch and just chilling with honey and today has been quite a lazy day so um i have been reading in bed for most of the day like not most of the day but half of the day i was also playing on my switch um figment the game that i have been playing and i finished like half of the game i guess and it's going really good um and this book is crazy or it is at least driving me crazy so a major plot kind of twist happened in the middle of the book i am now on page 314 so i feel like i read over 100 pages today i wasn't reading continuously but i just don't understand how this happened um i don't know if i like it or if i don't i'm just confused as to it's really a confusing story. It is over 500 pages in. That's why I feel like the story is really dense. There's a lot of trigger warnings in here um, for just sexual violence, violence in general, and it's just really gory, so just keep that in mind. But I just don't know what to think of it at this point. Um, but I'm going to keep on reading and see what happens. Right now, I feel like it's between three and four stars for me. It might be higher depending on how the ending goes because I just, I mean, it's a crime fric fiction and not really a thriller, so I know that it shouldn't be like a surprise. But at the same time, I'm just wondering what exactly is, like, how did this happen? Okay, I think maybe it's supposed to be a good thing considering it, like, kind of shocked me. Though I ended up, like, minorly spoiling myself two pages before it happened because I kind of flipped two pages back at the end of the chapter and then I just saw it and I was like what and it was just weird but I'm just gonna continue reading later I'm kind of sleepy now so I might take a nap or I might actually go and have some Diet Coke and edit my other video I want to upload my spooky books TBR videos so I might even do that and then I plan to just wash my hair and relax for the rest of the day so that's my Wednesday plan mm -hmm. 